first time in state history, high school softball is a sanctioned sport in South Dakota. Rapid City Central picked up a win in the first ever sanctioned game. Vic Quick caught up with the Cobblers. Here you go, three. This spring marks the first season of sanctioned high school softball in South Dakota. And Zane Rodner is excited to serve as Rapid City Central's head coach. Definitely a privilege um, to be a part of the first uh, sanctioned softball season. It's huge. Um, also being a Central grad, it's kind of kind of kind of bringing me hopefully back full circle and uh, having the opportunity to uh, do this with the softball program beyond the field with the girls. Well, I'd say it's an honor really because like to think about it, we're one of the last states to be a part of this sanctioned high school program and like um, all the other states have already had this opportunity and now that South Dakota is a part of that, I will always say that my first year was a part of that. Last week, the Cobblers took on Pier in South Dakota's first sanctioned softball game and Central earned an impressive 9-4 victory. To be able to come out with a victory um, it made it even better. Um, we talked to the girls before the game started and just, just so they would know that they're making history being part of the first to ever play a sanctioned softball game in the state of South Dakota. Um, and I think they were excited to be a part of it. It was really exciting um, getting to travel with the team and we were all a little anxious because we haven't played since either fall or July in my case. So I was a little nervous, but once I got back on the field, it all came right back to me and I think it did for everyone else. After getting a big win in the opener, the Cobblers are now focused on building on that success and the team wants to make this inaugural sanctioned season one to remember. The goal is state. I've been to state before, but it hasn't been this big to the state. And I just want to keep winning games and keep playing our best. Like, yeah, we're going to have bad games. There's going to be better teams. But I think if we keep working hard as a team and practicing, which practices are going pretty well, I think we'll get pretty far. And Vic will be back tomorrow. The Rapid City Rush continue their push for the playoffs. They were in Kansas City tonight. The boys lit the lamp twice. In the final 20 minutes to beat the Mavs 3 to 2. Keanu Yamamoto, Joe Martin, and Alex Aliardi all found the back of the net for the rush. And Daniel Chechelev standing on his head tonight. He made 40 saves. Russia now only two points out of the final playoff spot with five games left in the season. Go, rush, go.